All right, so welcome to the actual like doing stuff with CSS. Uh, before we can do anything with CSS though, uh, I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page as far as HTML. You've picked up a lot of knowledge about HTML from, from various sources, but I kinda wanted to do at least one exercise with you uh, just to make sure we all start on the same page. Hopefully the things in this are a review. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna primarily have you just working some examples. Um, I am gonna go ahead and say a couple things before I, I turn you loose with examples. So what we're going to worry about uh, here is different tags. Uh, so the, the, the terminology first. So on an HTML page, you have a lot of elements. Um, the first thing in an element is kind of what type of element it is. That's what's called a tag, right? So some tags are like divs or h1 or table. Uh, there's all kinds of tags. And so we're going to learn a little bit um, about some of the different tags you can use. We're also going to learn a little bit about the basic structure of an HTML page. So here's a basic example of an HTML page. So you can see that there's the doc type at the top, and then there's HTML, and then there's body, and then there's head. Um, we're going to choose to do things like um, add the, the character set UTF-8 to all documents. And then to most things we add, um, we're going to say this, this viewport device width thing. This, what this is, is a reminder, you've seen this once before. Um, this is, um, don't lie to me. So it turns out that like iPhone and, and Android now as well, uh, they tell your backend that they're actually very wide, even though they're not. And they found that that makes it look better. Um, but we're actually gonna try to do a good job of taking care of things ourselves. So we're gonna say, don't lie to me. Um, I will take care of adjusting myself for you as appropriate. So our basic template is gonna say these things in it. And then the title of each page is usually going to be just like what exercise we're doing and the body is going to be the focus of your content. So whenever we talk about an HTML element, we always start with the tag. So this one's a div, uh, that's an image tag, uh, this is a line break, uh, this one is an input. You'll notice that sometimes, um, depending on the tag, there's an opening, an inner HTML and a close, and then other times you can see like an image, there's no opening and closing. Uh, there's nothing, there's no inner HTML. Um, it just is a single item. If you see some people's examples, they'll close it with this slash and then greater than symbol. That's actually not necessary. Um, only if you're like strict about your XML do you need that. But, but all browsers, uh, you don't need anything special. You can just close them. So like a BR, you can just close it. In addition to the uh, the tag that starts it, the tag that closes it, and the inner HTML, there can also be a number of attributes. You can learn about a lot of different attributes uh, through this link here. So there are many, many, many attributes on things, but I kind of wanted to only highlight three for today. So three that we've seen already are the ID. ID should be unique on the page, so there should be only one thing with that ID. Class is is very different, so class, there can be many different things with the same class and each element can also have many classes so it's kind of a many to many relationship that's used a lot for css it's also used for finding things in javascript and you've seen it i also wanted to make sure to mention this guy the style attribute so the style attribute is a way to kind of put inline css on things um, to be honest this is considered bad practice uh, they recommend that you use a separate file for your css but I wanted you to at least be aware of that attribute uh, and that it exists because we will use it some, especially when you want to just add something simple for testing. So what I really want to do is I don't want to lecture to you about HTML tags. Um, I want you to do some examples. Um, make sure that you have done uh, the last video unit. Uh, so make sure you've set up your static file server because we're about to start using it um, starting now and, and for many, many lessons to come, right? So make sure you've you've done that if you haven't. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do some HTML basics. Um, usually I'll just turn you loose at this point, but because this is the first time you've done exercises, I'm gonna go ahead and start it with you. So what you're gonna need to do is there's a worksheet. Uh, so you can click on this link and it will take you to the worksheet. Uh, you can see that inside the worksheet, um, it says that you need this GitHub repo. This is actually the same link that was in the slides. So we need this GitHub repo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna visit this GitHub link, we're gonna download it, uh, but we're gonna save the, uh, the zip wherever we want. But then when we extract the zip, we're gonna put that in a, in a very special place. 
So you can actually save the zip wherever you like. I don't really care where you save the zip, um, but I do care about where you extract the zip. And so where I want you to extract it to um, is I want you to extract it into the static folder of that app engine app that you made. So I made a folder in the last video called static, uh, and I'm going to extract this uh, into that location, right? Um, and so basically I'm putting those into uh, that file. And you do have to be careful to make sure you get the right name on things. Like I actually don't want this hyphen master, uh, so I want to take that off. I actually just want it to be called HTML basics. Um, and then inside HTML basics, uh, there's a thing called tag practice. So if you've still got your static file server up from the last time, it'll actually be really easy now because you, you've just got it handy. Um, what you can do is right now, if you right click and you say refresh, um, it should bring in uh, that HTML handler with, with all those different things, right? And so now, if you actually visit one of those links, so like, you know, you've got localhost still running, if you've still got it running from the last video exercise, um, you should be able to click on one of these links and it'll actually go to some page. Now the page will be blank uh, because you haven't implemented it yet, uh, but it should successfully go to some page. If for some reason you didn't go to a page, um, you just have to, you have got a problem with your folder, right? So if we look at this main.py, we can see here's the name that I want you to display on this page, and here's the folder that I want you to go to, and you can see that I've got a static, uh, and then inside it is HTML basics, uh, and then inside it is the tag practice. So so long as you don't have any extra folders, uh, you should be able to, uh, to load this up no problem. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just start working through some of these exercises. Uh, I'll do the first couple with you because they're, they're um, the first five or six are just comically easy, right? So it says make a, an H1 tag uh, with the words, uh, hello world. So all you really need to do to implement this is you go into tag practice and open up exercise zero. Um, and then this is where you're going to add your code. You'll note that if you ever get really stuck on one of the exercises, all the solutions are here. Um, but the goal is for you to actually, you know, do it. Uh, if you just looked at the solution right away, that really wouldn't be very useful for you. Um, so you can see that this one says just add hello world, uh, which is great. So I save it up and then I just go refresh my page. It looks like I actually need to click on the link again and then refresh the page. And you can see it says hello world. There are two perfectly acceptable ways to review your work. One is to look at the file from localhost uh, that it's serving up. But another completely acceptable way is uh, you could actually just say open with uh, system editor. And what it would do is it would actually load the file, right? I do not care which way you work. Uh, if you want to work with localhost, that's fine. If you want to work with the file directly, that's fine. Typically what I do is once I've got one of them done is I just change the, uh, the word exercise zero uh, to exercise one. Uh, and then I go read, what am I trying to do for exercise one? I'll work one more with you. Um, so this one is to add a, um, a BR, so you're learning about BR, um, and a paragraph tag. Uh, so that's pretty easy. And it says, if you read the instructions carefully, to go ahead and copy over the hello world part. Um, and then we want a paragraph tab, um, and it says stuff on line one, and then a BR, and then stuff on line two. And then I have to close my paragraph tag. So you can see we start off uh, pretty straightforward, right? I go back to my page, I hit refresh on that, uh, and presto, it looks like my solution uh, looks like the thing that I was going for, um, and that it's got hello world, a paragraph tag that uses a BR inside of it. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop working them all with you. Uh, but your goal is to work through all of them uh, from zero up through, I believe there are 10 or so in this one. Once you've got all 10 complete, uh, what you need to do is you need to deploy uh, your app so that actually all your exercises are now public on the web. And then at the bottom of this, uh, this handout, it tells you about submitting your URL as well. I will go ahead and have you submit the URL of your exercise zero file. Um, if I know where your exercise zero file is, I can easily change it to be like one, two, three, four, or whatever, um, and I can check off your work. Also, I like for you to submit these things because then I know that that's like demarcates when you are done with it 
and when it's okay for me to go ahead and look for it and review it. I mean, obviously, if I know your username, um, I know where I could find it, but I want you to still go ahead and submit it once you're done with that. All right, so this is the lab for this unit. Uh, go nuts working these problems. There's a little bit after this, but basically this exercise is what this unit is all about. Uh, knock these things out. See you next time. Bye.